Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this beautiful Pacific Northwest morning. We are coming to you live from Cascade High School and want to welcome you to the Everett Public Schools Foundation's 27th Annual Benefit Event. A Brighter Tomorrow starts today. We hope you enjoyed our pre-event showcase featuring board members, sponsors, and community partners, along with our program recipients. My name is Eric Hines, and I'm an assistant principal at H.M. Jackson High School and a parent of three elementary students within the Everett School District. I am honored to be with you this morning, albeit virtually, to celebrate our schools, our community, and our commitment to education. And what a year it has been. At this time last year, this event was the last event held in our area before moving into remote learning and various pandemic shutdowns. While challenging, we cannot express enough our appreciation for the tremendous efforts displayed by our students, our teachers, our counselors, nurses, bus drivers, paras, building and district administrators, our families, and finally you, our community, through these unprecedented times. Today you will see and hear how a great community of donors creates great schools. We are here to celebrate you. Because of your generosity, the Everett Public Schools Foundation provides much-needed programs so that all learners in Everett Public Schools have the resources they need to achieve and experience success. We are proud of our partnership with the Everett School District and the difference that we make for our students. In our opening segment this morning, we will hear from Michelle Nims, the Everett Public School Foundation Board President, and Kay Fanton, the EPSF Executive Director, to share more about the foundation and what it does. But first, let's hear from the Foundation Board's Vice President, Avianca Walker, as we acknowledge the land that we are on. Good morning. My name is Avianca Walker, and it is my honor to begin our time together here today with an acknowledgement of the land and its original caretakers. We respectfully acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Coast Salish, Snohomish, and Tulalip peoples. We expressed our deepest respect and gratitude to them as the original stewards of this land. We invite all of you to reflect upon the nations on whose land you currently reside and investigate, respect, and uphold the treaties there as an act of solidarity with indigenous peoples. May we all strive to create equitable outcomes and build a culture of inclusive belonging for all students, teachers, and staff now and for generations to come. Good morning and thank you for joining us. My name is Michelle Nims and I'm proud to serve as the Everett Public Schools Foundation Board President. As many of you already know, the Foundation has been a vital partner to the district and community since 1985. We play a unique role, providing funding that would otherwise not be available for innovative and critical programs that support student success. Thanks to you, the Foundation has contributed over five million dollars in program support since its founding. Hi, I'm Kay Fenton, Executive Director for the Everett Public Schools Foundation. Michelle and I wanted to share with you the difference you make. We focus on four pillars of support to vital initiatives, early learning, innovation and excellence, high school and beyond, and student basic needs. An example of our early learning support is the district's Everett Ready and Play to Learn, Play to Learn programs. This past summer, the Foundation, thanks to your support, provided $51,000 in funding to the Everett Ready and Play to Learn groups, along with additional support for bilingual resources and materials. The Innovation and Excellence Pillar includes our Classroom Grant Program, which supports innovative, engaging, and transformative projects that inspire learning and that makes a difference for our students. They prioritize student excitement to learn through real-world experiences, Today, you will get a chance to see a couple of these grants in action. Our third pillar of support is High School and Beyond. You will be hearing from a couple of our students with more about this, but I wanted to share with you the support the Foundation was able to offer. Over $31,000 for summer school tuition assistance, and although graduation was very different this last year, the Foundation supported over $80,000 in college-bound scholarships. Finally, examples of our Student Basic Need programs are the Student Basic Needs School Grants and our Stuff the Bus for Kids School Supply Drive. This year, we delivered over 1,900 backpacks across the district, enabling our students to be prepared and ready to learn virtually on the first day of school 
as well as additional supplies as we navigate virtual learning. These are just a few examples of the work being done thanks to your generous support. The Foundation is helping to build stronger community and making sure all students, families, and staff have the tools they need to be successful. Thank you for all you've done, are doing, and your support in an investment in the future of our community. Thank you, Avianca, for that wonderful land acknowledgement, and to Michelle and Kay for sharing an overview on everything the Foundation does for our Everett Public Schools community of learners. Now let's share how easy it is to support this work. Just click on the donate button on the right side of your screen and you'll be able to make your donation live. For those of you that would like to give a monthly recurring donation, please text the word EPSF to 243725. Again, for a monthly recurring donation, please text the word EPSF to 243725. Or you can always visit our website at epsfoundation.org. Coming up, we'll hear a message from our superintendent, Dr. Ian Saltzman, and two of the Everett Public School District's board members, Ms. Caroline Mason, Everett School Board President, and Ms. Tracy Mitchell, Everett School Board Parliamentarian. Hi, I'm Caroline Mason, president of the Everett School Board, and I'm excited to be able to share with you today why I believe that the Everett Public Schools Foundation is one of the most critical partners we have in our district. While the state funds much of what we do inside our classrooms, including hiring amazing teachers, feeding our students, getting them to and from schools, there are a lot of things that the state doesn't fund, and that's where the Everett Public Schools Foundation comes in. They help us support our youngest learners all the way up to our seniors and beyond with things like college scholarships. They help our earliest learners get ready to come into our classrooms during at kindergarten. And they also supply some basic needs to our students who can't afford to do so. Things like backpacks stuffed full of school supplies at the beginning of the year. And lastly, they provide incredible innovation inside our classrooms with teacher grants. I've seen the most incredible things happen with these grants uh, with the students, everything from science to art to outdoor education. So I encourage you to continue to support the Everett Public Schools Foundation as I have these past many years and will continue to do so in the future. Thanks so much for giving me an opportunity to share. Good morning. I'm Tracy Mitchell with the Everett Public Schools Board of Directors. Before I was a school director, I was the immediate past president of the Everett Public Schools Foundation. I served on the foundation's board for several years and participated in programs, including the superintendent scholar and classroom grants. The program I'm most proud of is being the co-chair of the first annual Stuff of the Bus for Kids, the annual school supply drive that so many of us look forward to. I continue to volunteer and give annually. I joined the foundation because I wanted to do more for the community, the students and staff of the Everett Public Schools than my local PTA. I continue to volunteer on the PTA when I was on the foundation. I really appreciate everything the foundation does for the students and staff of the Everett Public Schools. Good morning and thank you for being here today and wow, what a year it's been. And matter of fact, a year ago today, I think this was our last event together live. So I, I wanna thank everybody that's here today. And why are we here today? We're here today for the kids. And there's no time than now that we've gotta give back to our kids and our community. What you've done in the Everett Public School Foundation to support our youngsters is just so instrumental to their lives. So today I just ask you, Continue doing the great things that you're doing. Your generosity impacts our entire community. Every public schools is an amazing place to live and work. And when I mean live and work, we do. We live and work for our youngsters. So today, from your heart to my heart, anything we can give to our students will make this just a better day. And I just want to remind everybody, next year, we're going to see a little more light at the end of the tunnel. And we're going to be just a little better off than we were this year. Be safe be healthy, and our kids appreciate you as much as I do. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ian, Caroline, and Tracy. You can add additional support to your donation by using the buttons on the right side of your screen. $25 would help to supply equitable and inclusive materials for our libraries. $50 
would help us to deliver a backpack filled with school supplies to students in need. And $100 can help fund a classroom grant. And speaking of classroom grants, it's time to highlight some of our classroom grant winners. The Everett Public Schools Foundation has provided over $726,000 since 1996 to classroom teachers in the form of grants to fund innovative and exciting programs, and this year more than ever, to enhance learning within their virtual classrooms. This year, we were able to surprise 36 grant winners. Let's recognize a couple of these recent grant winners. First, the counseling team from Everett High School to share a bit about their first Chapter Fridays grant. And Amalia Pimenta and Rachel Patrick from Cascade High School sharing about their grant, Windows and Mirrors. Hi. Hi there. I'm Deb Payne, the librarian. I'm Deanna Brown. I'm Susan Park. And I'm Megan Adams. This team right here, they brought First Chapter Friday to Everett High School. And then our department embraced it, and now it's school-wide. And it's gone district-wide. We look forward to this all week. It's our favorite day of the week, and we love it. Thank you so much for supporting First Chapter Friday. First Chapter Friday is basically story time, but for grown-up kids. <laughs> what it means is that on Fridays, every English teacher reads the first chapter of a high interest young adult novel. It's usually the English teacher that reads it, but sometimes we have guest readers like the paraeducator or um, the secretary or the bookkeeper or something like that. We value independent reading. Students are able to become compassionate and empathetic people who are able to make connections and be creative. It is so important to us that our students connect with what they're reading. These books that we've chosen for First Chapter Friday reflect them and their communities. They help our students make sense of the world that they live in. Another great benefit to First Chapter Friday is that all these students end up knowing about and reading the same books. So because they all have access to it, often what happens is by the end of the day, all the copies are checked out of the library. And then maybe a sophomore is reading the book in the lunchroom and a junior walks by and says, oh, like my teacher read that first chapter. It sounded pretty good. Do you like that? Or I'm reading that book too. And it creates connections. It creates conversations. Um, it encourages conversations. Um, and it's a shared experience that we're creating through reading all across our school. I really like First Chapter Fridays because it gives me the opportunity to learn about more books that I would normally overlook. So it gives me that second chance to actually thoroughly look into it. Things that I like about First Chapter Friday is the fact that teachers get to record themselves reading a chapter and it's just very interesting to see how they read, especially when it's not like a classroom setting. One of the things I like about First Chapter Fridays is that it it exposes me to new books that I wouldn't have tried otherwise. I like First Chapter Friday because you can find books that aren't usually in the standard English curriculum. You can find books that discuss relevant topics like inequalities, and there's also a lot of great fiction books. I'm Addison Gersa. I'm president of the Bibliophile Society at Ever High, and we wanted to say thank you so much for the money. Um, we read First Chapter Friday books um, about once a month. We So far, we've read Stepsisters and Lovely War. Teachers also will read them in the classroom, and everyone really enjoys the books, so thank you so much. So we just want to say thank you for putting books into our, the hands of our students and for exposing our kids to a diverse array of voices. And helping us create connections between our students through reading. And giving us good old fashioned story time with some, some students who may never have experienced it otherwise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Everett Public Schools, Everett Public Schools Foundation and guests. My name is Amalia Pimenta and I'm the librarian at Cascade High School. And my name is Rachel Patrick, and I'm an English teacher and leadership teacher at Cascade High School. We're here to tell you about the project we did with the grant we received from the Everett Public Schools Foundation, originally titled Project Lit and First Chapter Fridays. Our project sort of evolved into representation in young adult literature because stories matter. Stories for our students that reflect their lived experience, stories that are windows and mirror texts. 
When we talk about window and mirror texts, we talk about whether a student is able to see themselves reflected in a character in a text, or if they're able to um, see a, a whole new world through a window text instead. Students are able to build empathy for others through window text, but gain a lot of self-confidence by seeing people just like them accomplish things in uh, mirror texts. Uh, we are well aware that diversity in children's books is light on the students of color, characters of color, predominantly white characters, um, written by white authors and often published with animals as protagonists dominate the market. And we wanted to make sure we got books into the hands of our students that actually reflected their own background and heritage. One of the things that we did was we had our students watch The Danger of a Single Story, which is a TED Talk by Chimamanda Adichie, where she discusses how a single story can be so dangerous if that's all you know about someone. We had our students reflect on this. Um, our students are 14 and 15 years old. And we wanted to share some of the reflections they came up with after watching this TED Talk. Uh, there isn't a specific story used to define me personally, but I see a lot of people define Mexicans as illegals, which I've gotten subtle comments about, but never really gave much thought into it. When I was younger, I used to believe that a lot of people in Mexico lived in poverty as well because of the way Mexicans were typically portrayed as poor in the media. I was surprised to find out when I went to visit family that there were cities there and that people owned cars and all that. It's sad looking back how these types of stereotypes affected young people like me and their points of views of the world, which is why there should be more stories included and written, not just the same ones that we hear over and over again. Another set of students who don't know each other wrote these two that we paired together. One wrote, as an Egyptian, people assume that we live in a really poor area, which is the complete opposite. People also assume that I live in pyramids and ride camels, which is not true at all. These stories probably come from history class. People don't understand that we live in a modern place and that people change their lifestyles. Another student wrote, for example, I thought that Egypt was only desert and dryness, but it's actually not all just sand and dirt. It has beautiful cities and it looks like a really cool place to go. But I looked at it like that because of the single stories I read growing up. Uh, we thought it was important to also include uh, stories that transcended the way people identified themselves with this story here. There is a single story that others often use to define me. Being transgender, people automatically assume I want the surgeries or I'm taking meds. Other examples of single stories that are part of my worldview are that politics are bad for children to learn or hear about. These single stories typically come from white, hetero people who think their opinion has to be correct. To get a balance of stories, you must see both sides of the coin, the good, the bad, and even the in-between. I wanted to share this slide with you particularly because these are some of the books we were able to purchase with our grant. They reflect the backgrounds of our students' lived experiences, but not only that, the first chapters have been read by a variety of Cascade High School staff and two district administrators. The staff and administrators also donated a copy of the book each, and we are so very grateful for our abundance this year. And we just wanna say thank you, Everett Public Schools Foundation. Thanks so much for helping my students be able to see themselves in characters in literature and help them build confidence in who they are. We appreciate it. Thank you to the Everett High Counseling team, as well as Amalia and Rachel, two amazing leaders empowering improvements amongst their student bodies. This is the perfect time to add additional support to your donation by using those buttons on the right. $25 or more would help to supply equitable and inclusive materials for our libraries, like the ones you just heard about. And thank you so much to everyone who has donated thus far. Every little bit helps. And it's that easy. Just click those donate buttons on your right to support this work. Next, we would like to introduce Dr. Sally Lancaster, a longtime Emma Yule Society member, as well as Ed Peterson, a community partner and Emma Yule member, to share with you about the Emma Yule Society. As you learn more, it is easy to join Sally and Ed by using the button on the right. Also, you will see a highlight into one of the many programs that you support through your generous donations, a glimpse into our Play and Learn program. Good morning. My name is Sally Lancaster, Regional Superintendent of the Everett Public Schools. 
I am proud of the great work the found of the foundation to ensure that all of our students have access and opportunity to the resources they need for success. As a beginning teacher, I enjoyed the annual presentations from the foundation, talking about the ways they supported students in our schools, such as providing classroom grants and recognizing teachers for 25 years of service. As a new teacher, my students benefited from several classroom grants, and I clapped enthusiastically for the veteran teachers who I believed had been teaching for a very long time when they received their 25-year mug. I couldn't believe how quickly the 25 years went when I received my mug, and I no longer think that 25 years is really that long. I also vividly remember them talking about Emma Yule. Emma was the first teacher in Everett who later went on to become principal and then superintendent. Imagine in the 1890s educating the young children in a rapidly growing mill town. She no doubt was a strong and courageous woman who contributed to the growth of our region by educating our community's children. Emma worked to build a strong school system, which is essential to a strong community. I was so inspired by the works of Emma Yule and the Foundation, I made the decision to become a member of the Emma Yule Society and have continued my membership over the past 22 years. As our greater community has grown increasingly more diverse and our world has become more complex, the Foundation's work is essential in removing barriers to ensure equal access and opportunity for all of our students. Like Emma Yule, the Foundation Board understands there is no such thing as a strong community without strong schools. I invite you to join me in membership to set up and make a commitment to supporting the students in your community. You can be an Emma Yule member for as little as $500. You can join Emma's Circle for $1,000. Or you can become one of Emma's angels by contributing $1,500 that can be paid monthly, quarterly, or annually. You can click right now on your screen for your one-time donation. I truly love being a part of the Greater Everett community and a part of the Everett Public Schools Foundation. I would love to have you join me in the Emma Ewell Society. Strong schools need strong communities. Together, we can and will make a difference for our children. Thank you very much. Carol and I have been longtime supporters of the Emma Ewell Society, and there are lots of reasons for that. Uh, Emma Ewell was a treasure in the first decade of public education in Everett. Serving as our first teacher, our first principal, and our first superintendent, she was a pioneer leader in a pioneer town and a champion for girls' education. She fostered educational rigor and after leaving Everett, she modeled global citizenship through years of teaching in Japan and the Philippines. Her dedication to building a quality school system for the children of Everett inspires us. The Emma Yule Society provides an opportunity to honor Emma Yule as a role model and provide resources to strengthen the delivery of quality education in Everett. The creative grants, scholarships, and unique services provided through the Everett Public Schools Foundation contribute significantly to making Everett a great place for education of our children. We are proud of our pub Everett Public Schools system, where our three daughters and myself and my three brothers were educated. As community members, we strongly support a vibrant public school system that values diversity and inclusion, scholarship and critical thinking for all of our Everett students. The Emma Yule Society is a unique opportunity to provide support to such a vital force in our community. Hi, my name is Helen Cooley, and here today to share with you is one of our Play and Learn families, Rosalinda and Emilio. Because of your contributions to the Everett Public Schools Foundation, we have been able to provide bilingual activity kits and circle time videos for our families. Hola, mi nombre es Rosalinda y estoy con Emilio, mi hijo. Él tiene cinco años y queremos hablarles acerca del programa Aprendiendo y Jugando Virtualmente. Eh, bueno, este es un programa a través de Everett, Everett Public Schools. Y eh, cada mes nosotros vamos a la librería por un kit como este, donde viene el calendario con cada una de las actividades que serán durante la semana. Y también viene eh, todos los materiales que estaremos ocupando para hacer las actividades. Eh, se, nosotros vemos en YouTube 
el video que cada eh, semana también lo van haciendo y bueno eh, aprenden mucho acerca de lo que son letras, números, formas y eh, a mí en lo especial la parte que más me gusta es la parte socioemocional ya que ellos aprenden a identificar sus emociones y a poder manejarlas ¿A ti Emilia qué es lo que más te gusta del Playgroup? Leemos y cantamos. Cuando leemos y cantamos. ¿Y cuál es tu canción favorita, Emilio? La viejita. ¿La cantamos? Sí. Zum, 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 zum. Déjame salir. Zum, 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 zum. Ya te puedes ir. Yeah. Gracias. Thank you to Sally, Ed, Rosalinda, and Emilio. Your support has a huge impact, so donate now, and it's easy. Just click that button on the right side of your screen. Next is a sneak peek of our new endowment donor wall. These funds provide financial resources to better support key programs and enable us to have a greater and more sustainable impact on students for generations to come. To learn more about the Transforming Learning Inspiring Success Endowment Fund, go to our website at www.epsfoundation.org or contact our Executive Director, Kay Fanton. We will also hear some testimonials from a couple of our Foundation board members and a parent within our district. And don't forget, you can add on to your donation and support one of three or all three vital programs. Again, $25 would help to supply equitable and inclusive materials for our libraries. $50 would help us to deliver a backpack to students in need and $100 can help fund a classroom grant. At this time, we want to take a moment to thank our endowment supporters and give you a sneak peek of our new endowment wall located in the lobby of the Community Resource Center. We look forward to having an official ribbon cutting when it is safe for us to gather. My name is Kailani Tobayan. I am a second grade teacher at Penny Creek Elementary. I have the honor and privilege to sit on Everett Public School Foundation's Board of Directors, as well as have the opportunity to co-chair with Avianca Walker on the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee that they have established for the first time this year. What I've learned in my experience in being a Board of Directors is how truly amazing the foundation is. They're unwavering in their support for their community, the teachers in the district, and the students. What I've learned in the early parts of my career is just how much their impact had on me and in my career. Starting as a beginning educator, I absolutely did not have any books, and the foundation is what supplied me with the first phonics books, and actually were what led to the first books on my bookshelf in my first classroom. So the unwavering support that they have for their teachers in order to impact our students in the way in which we want to is incredible. And now that I have the opportunity to sit on the board of directors, that support that I felt as an early educator is no different. They're so committed to the work and creating leadership and involving people like myself in the work that they do. Most importantly, with all the inequities that we know are in our communities, they have enlisted so much more diversity in their board of directors to be able to meet the needs of their communities. So it's incredible to stand next to many of the leaders alongside me and also be a part of the work that they do every single day to support not only their community, their teachers, and their students. Thank you. My name is Michelle Nims, and I'm incredibly proud to serve as the Everett Public Schools Foundation President. People often ask me why I choose to volunteer and support the Foundation. In a word, mission. I strongly believe in our mission to inspire innovation, excellence, and achievement for all learners in Everett Public Schools. They also ask me what my favorite Foundation program is, but that's like asking a mother who her favorite child is. I can't choose because I love all our amazing programs. The Foundation supports our incredible teachers with first-year teacher grants, as well as classroom grants to recognize the creative and innovative ways they teach and inspire our students. We support our littlest learners by subsidizing the Everett Ready Kindergarten Transition Program, as well as our Play and Learn groups. The Foundation supports our students and families facing financial challenges with our Stuff the Bus School Supply Drive and our Student Basic Needs School Grants. We also provide summer school and college in the high school tuition assistance. We support STEAM, 
science, technology, engineering, arts, and math by helping to host middle and high school art shows, as well as supporting the district's STEM celebration. Supporting the varied paths our students may choose after high school, we help subsidize the district's high school and beyond events, college exploration field trips for all eighth graders, vocational or technical college field trips, as well as over $80,000 in senior scholarships annually. This year, our big focus has been on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our newly formed DEI committee is reviewing the accessibility of our programs and services for equitable outcomes. In addition, we have provided funds to add diverse and inclusive books to our school libraries, and we are looking at other ways we can support this crucial work in the district. We want to help build school cultures that honor, respect, reflect, and welcome all students and staff. We could not do any of this without your generosity. Thank you to those who support us every year. If you have not donated in the past, please consider joining the Foundation family. Together, we can do so much for our students and staff here in Everett Public Schools. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amanda Cabana. I am a very involved parent in the Everett School District. A couple years ago, I had the pleasure of attending the Everett Public Schools Foundation Benefit Breakfast. That was the year they kicked off the Basic Needs Grant. They shared some stories, some heartbreaking and heartwarming stories of how this could affect students in our district. I'm not going to lie, I was in tears hearing some of the stories. Stories about kids who just wanted a toothbrush or a comb, kids who didn't have lunch to eat and only ate off the share table. The Basic Needs Grant is awarded to each school and it allows principals to address things that might fall between the cracks. I highly support this grant financially and with word of mouth and I would ask that you do too. It is an amazing thing and it accomplishes amazing, amazing opportunities for our kiddos and they deserve it. Folks, we are nearing the end of our program so this is your last chance to donate in helping us to reach our annual goal. Click that button on your right to support some of the amazing students and programs that you have learned about today. Our last highlights are from Dietrich Rogers, a graduate from Sequoia High School and a Superintendent Scholar for Excellence Award winner. An honor and recognition awarded to distinguished high school seniors in the top 5% of their graduating class according to GPA or the top 5% of students taking the SAT or Washington pre-college test sponsored by Drs. Gary and Sue Cohn. You will also hear about how your donations support our high school and beyond programs. Kathy Woods and students Rebecca and Katina will share the difference that you make with college in the high school and summer school tuition assistance. And finally, we'll hear from a classroom grant recipient, Christina Ripley at Mill Creek Elementary School regarding her social emotional learning work. So the other thing I wanted to mention is this. It's my superintendent scholarship award. And um, I'm still really excited that I won it. Honestly, having that um, extra money from it is really going to help me in the future. Um, I want to be able to move on to at least a four-year university. And um, I, I don't have anyone in my family who's going to help me pay for that. Um, so... It's going to end up helping me a lot in the long run. And um, more important than that, I think, is the actual title of it, though. I um, I was going through a really hard time in my life when I first started going to Sequoia. And um, I kind of started by using school as a place um, that I could just escape home and focus on something else for a while. Um, but... Over time being there, I um, started to really, like, genuinely appreciate and realize the privilege that I have of um, having the opportunity to learn. And winning this award has shown me that all of the hard work that I've put in school is paying off m more than just literally. <laughs> but I feel like I'm finally beginning to be proud of where I've gotten in life. And, um, I seriously owe it to the teachers at Everett Public Schools for encouraging me to get this far. And 
I hope they hold on to the determination and passion I know so many of them have for their job because it can genuinely change someone's life. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathy Woods, Director of College and Career Readiness in Everett Public Schools. I'm so excited to be able to share with you how our partnership with the Everett Public Schools Foundation has made a difference for our students in achieving their college and career goals. Each summer, Everett Public Schools offers opportunities for our students to take additional classes through online high school. Students typically take these classes so they can open up their schedule during the school year to take college level and rigorous courses that will prepare them for their future. Imagine a student who is motivated to challenge themselves, is willing to take classes in the summer and has aspirations for college, but cannot afford the tuition for the summer classes. For some families, paying that cost is not possible. The Everett Public School Foundation provides scholarships for students in need so they can access these summer courses. And it's a game changer for these students. Another game-changing support that the foundation provides our students is tuition assistance for college in the high school courses in each of our high schools. We offer up to 40 different classes where students can get credit from either Everett Community College or University of Washington by taking college classes in the high school. There's considerable cost savings for students to take the courses while they're still in high school, but even then, the $250 or $370 that the courses cost is often prohibitive for families. So the Everett Public Schools Foundation has partnered with us to ensure that costs will not get in the way of students taking college classes and earning college credit while in our high schools. The foundation has provided scholarships for our students so when they graduate, they will have those college credits already in their pocket. I have a couple of students here today who want to tell you how this assistance has made a difference for them. Hello, my name is Rebecca Roop and I'm a junior at Everett High. I've been in AP classes since my freshman year and the scholarships are so helpful. I'm thankful that my school is able to provide them for me. This year I'm receiving University of Washington College and High School credit for my AP Psychology class. I couldn't tell you how much that means to me. With my other AP classes, it simply would be too much money and put a burden on my family. Being able to receive this credit is vastly helpful. It feels great to start my University of Washington transcript. It makes me approach my schoolwork with the future in mind. I'm not just doing this for this class for a grade, but I'm doing this class for a career. I hope to major in psychology and become a counselor. It would be a dream to, be, to counsel in a theological setting. Whatever path I choose for psychology, I never would have even been able to start without the scholarship for my UW High School credit. This makes me so excited for my future and career. I can't wait to be out of high school and get my life started. I am so passionate about helping other people and the path of psychology is intriguing and perfect for me. Thanks to the UW College and the high school credit, I'm able to earn my high school credit as well as credit for college to get me a leg up in my college education. Hello, my name is Katina and I'm a senior at Cascade High School. This year, the college and the high school scholarship helped me so much because I'm taking four AP classes and I'm signed up to take all the tests for them. And the college and the high school credit fee would have just added on to all the fees I already had to pay. So it was very difficult for my family to do that for me. But with the scholarship, I was able to accomplish all my goals and realize I did not have to choose between all the things that are important to me, but that I could accomplish all of it. I am so grateful for the partnership of Everett Public Schools and the Everett Public Schools Foundation. Thank you for your support. Your donations make a big difference for students like Katina and Rebecca and so many more. Hello, my name is Christina Ripley, Social Emotional Learning Specialist at Mill Creek Elementary School. I'm grateful to the Everett Public School Foundation for funding my grant, empowering student voice and vision with multicultural picture books for social emotional learning. These culturally responsive materials empower and validate students as they see themselves represented in meaningful stories. As they connect, they share their feelings, thoughts, and their own personal stories. There has never been a more important time to empower student voice and vision. Let's hear from some students. Thank you. Hi, Miss Ripley. This is my apple tree, and I draw words in the apples, like play music, help each other, love, and kind. 
Bye, Miss Ripley. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm in the fifth grade, and this is my diamond. My diamond says I'm every good thing. I'm a reader filling up my brain with knowledge. Bye. I promise that I will always be open-minded. I promise to help people. I promise I'll be nice. To everyone? To everyone. Hi guys, my name is Crystal and I promise to always be kind. Hi, my name is Ike. I promise to have friends when they are in trouble. This is my drawing. Reading books. Riding a bike. Reading books, riding a bike, and playing outside makes me happy. Sitting in my indoor swing. Taking a shower and sitting in the softest blanket makes me relaxed and calm. Thank you. We hope that you were able to get a little insight to the difference that your donations have on our students, staff, and community. And an event this size could not happen without the help from a small army of volunteers. Please join me in thanking the many people who have made today's event possible. Our board members of the Everett Public Schools Foundation for their dedicated service to our schools. And a special shout out to Executive Director Kay Fanton, Kirsten Hansen, and Kathy McKenzie for helping to organize and make this event possible. A thank you to our Everett Public School Board members and all of the people who took the time today to share their stories. A special shout out to Cascade High School teacher extraordinaire Scott Schaefer for the amazing video and technical work to create this event. We are also very grateful for our business partners. Their donations underwrote the production costs of this event so that 100% of donations raised today will help support student success. A special thank you to our superintendent star partner, Durham School Services, as well as our valedictorian partners, the Boeing Company, Dykeman Architects and Design, and McLean Insurance Services. We would also like to thank the organizations who have provided grant funding for our programs this year. If you would like to share this event with your family or friends, it will be available later today on the Everett Public Schools Foundation's website at www.epsfoundation.org. Thank you so much for joining us and attending today, and especially for all of your support. This concludes our program. Special thank you to Cascade High School and Henry M. Jackson High School for the amazing talents of Scott Schaefer and Eric Hines in helping us put this program together and for all of their technical support. We could not have done this without you. Thank you to our 2020-2021 Everett Public School Foundation board members. Michelle Nims, President, Jeff Brannon, Vice President, Avianca Walker, Vice President, Jennifer Black, Treasurer, Christy, Mother's Boss Secretary, Rich White, our immediate past president, and Dr. Sally Lancaster, our district liaison. Also, thank you to all of our EPSF members at large. A big thank you to the Everett Public Schools Board of Directors, Caroline Mason, president, Pamela Sane, vice president, Tracy Mitchell, parliamentarian, April Berg, director, position two, Andrew Nichols, our legislative representative, and a big shout out to our student representatives, Amina Hussain at Everett High School and Tara Pilch Bisson at Jackson High School. A big thank you to our 2021 annual business partners, a superintendent star donor, Durham School Services, valedictorian donor, The Boeing Company, valedictorian donor, Dykeman Architecture and Design, valedictorian donor, McLean Insurance, Distinguished Scholar Donor, Cornerstone General Contractors. Distinguished Scholar Donor, the Everett Education Association and United Teachers of Everett. Distinguished Scholar Donor, Sonatrol Verified Electronic Security. Distinguished Scholar Donor, Speed West Construction. Merit Scholar Donor, Kaiser Permanente. And to our Head of the Class Donors, Brent Planning Solutions, D.A. Davidson, 
Electronic Business Machines, Everett Association of Paraeducators, Everett Community College, Hargis Engineers, Reed Middleton Incorporated, The Rotary Club of Mill Creek, Pacifica Law Group, Perkins Coey, Seattle Children's North Clinic in Everett, and WSU of Everett. Thank you also to our honor roll donors, Anderson Hunter Law Firm, Botesh Nash and Hall Architects, Coastal Community Bank, Edmonds College, Micro K-12, NAC Architecture, the New Gen Realty Team, Coldwell Banker and Bain, Northwest Plus Credit Union, Puget Sound Kidney Centers, Seattle Youth Hockey, and Weatherholt and Associates. Thanks again to our program granters, the Boeing Company, Costco, the Everett Clinic Foundation, Everett Rotary, Evertrust Foundation, Fred Meyer, Howarth Trust, Mill Creek Cares, Mill Creek Rotary, the Community Foundation of Snohomish County, Tulalip Tribes Foundation, and the Windermere Foundation of South Everett. The Everett Public Schools Foundation is proud to have earned top rated Great Nonprofits Award and Platinum Seal of Transparency status on GuideStar. <laughs>